What are production rates and how can I use them in my cleaning company? Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com. So you know, production rates are very important. And what that is, is it's generally uh, how many square feet you can clean in one hour. So whenever you're measuring your production rates, you always have to know the, the square footage that you're cleaning and the time that it takes to, to clean. So once you know that, then you can arrive at your production rate. So essentially what you're doing is you're taking the, the square footage of the facility, dividing it by the hours, and that's the production rate that you're going to have. So, but you know, the, and that's how you gather your information. Um, so if you don't know your production rates, just start tracking them in, in all of the accounts that you do, all your accounts and jobs. So if you have, uh, you know, let's say you have five accounts of various sizes, but you're performing just general cleans, uh, go ahead and know the square footage of the facility, know how long it takes to clean, and you'll be able to arrive at your production rate. Now, if you have five accounts, then what you do is you, you, you get those production rates, you add them all up, and you divide them by five for your average. Okay? So, really, that's, a, that's all there really is to it. You know, a production rate is just how many square feet you can clean per hour. And by knowing that, it really helps us, it helps us with pricing, definitely. Um, and uh, you know that's one of the, the real keys. So if we're trying to price an account, if we if we know and understand our production rates, we can use those production rates to arrive at a time to clean. And then just by knowing the time to clean, we'll do a formula that uh, tells us how many how many hours per month that we'll be cleaning the facility, and then we just multiply that by our billable rate. So pretty simple. Like that arrive that way uh, you arrive at a price point. But uh, you know production rates, for example. If we got a facility that's 35,000 square feet and we're cleaning it five days per week and let's say our production rate is 3,800 square feet per hour, that means that it's going to take us 9.21 hours per clean. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Uh, again, you know, just by using that simple formula, you know, if we, if we have an idea uh, of either how long it's going to take us to clean the facility or we have a production rate, we can always arrive at that uh, arrive at either the, the time to clean or the production rate. So once we have uh, those numbers, you know, we're, we're set because we're actually just looking for this number here, you know, the time to clean. So uh, then let's say we got an account that's 15,000 square feet and we're cleaning that three days per week. Well, our production rate is 3,000 square feet per hour, so that means it's going to take us five hours to clean. Uh, so you may be asking, you know, where am I coming up with these production rates? Again, it's like I said, what you want to do is you want to start tracking your production rates. Now, if you're a solo, or if you're a solo company, start tracking your rates. You're out there cleaning, cleaning accounts. Uh, go ahead and know the, the square footage, know how long it takes you time, uh, how long it takes you to clean it, and that's how you can arrive at your production rates. And um, you know, uh, one thing that you do want to do is you want to set up a, some kind of a chart like I have here. I've got this chart uh, to where. We're, uh, you know, five days, four days, three days, two days, and one day per week service. And, you know, based off of your, based off of the numbers that you've tracked, you can go ahead and, uh, and write those down so you, so you know what they are. So, for example, you know, a five day per week service, 3,800 square feet per hour. Four day per week, 3,400 square feet per hour. Three days is 3,000. Two days is 2,800. And one day is 2,500 square feet per hour. Now you may, and if let's say you don't have any accounts yet, uh, and you're just getting started, well, you might use this chart here uh, to get started. So generally, when we're when we're first getting started in our cleaning company, we're going to take on small accounts, typically which are you know uh, three thousand square feet or less, generally, and they're only serviced one day per week. So if that's the case, then you could you could just use the twenty five hundred square feet per hour production rate to arrive at a time to clean. Now at 2,500 square feet per hour, that's a you know that's a that's a detail rate. You should be able to do a very very good job and make that customer happy. So that's what you can do. You can use that number uh, to determine how long it's going to take to clean. So generally, it's just going to be uh, generally about one hour, um, you know, for those types of services. But anyway, that's what you could do is you could just use this chart if you don't have anything, uh, you're just getting started, or if you're an established company. Start tracking your time. Very, very important. You know, we have to know the we have to know our production rates, and we have to establish the production rates for our team. 
Um, so what I would suggest is that again, go out, know uh, the square footages of every facility that you, uh, and every account that you clean, know how long it takes to clean, how many total man hours that is, and be able to come up with your production rates. So, you know, when you get an, a, a proposal or an RFP coming in and, they, you know, they want a general cleaning, it doesn't matter what size the facility is, um, and, uh, and you you're, you got the scope of work, and you know that, okay, for, uh, for that, type of, uh, that type of cleaning, for a general cleaning, you know, for a five-day-per-week service, you know, we're going to be at 3,800, 4,500, 5,500, whatever it is uh, for, for your company. Now, one thing you have to remember is that when we're talking about production rates, you know, when you're talking 3,800, 5,500 square feet per hour, um, you know, that's typically in a team, uh, a team cleaning situation. Uh, that's where you can get those high levels like that, where you're doing 5,500, 6,500 and beyond square feet per hour. Um, otherwise, you know, if you're doing a zone cleaning, it's pretty hard to hit those numbers. Uh, pretty difficult because you've got one person doing all of the, all the various tasks of the cleaning. Very hard for them to hit those kind of numbers unless they're unless you're doing again some type of skip cleaning or collaborative cleaning, some 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 system like that. That's the only way you're going to hit those high production rate numbers. So you know, generally most companies are always basing everything off of uh, either just zone cleaning or team cleaning. So those are the two most common systems that are used. Um, so generally that's what you're always going to do and depending on the facility you'll determine which system you want to use or you may use a combination of both within that facility. But in either case it's important for us to know what our production rates are, what they are, how do we arrive at them and how do we use them. And you know like I say the, the production rates uh, are used to, to set our price point, you know know how many hours per clean and set a price point but it also helps us determine uh, how many people we, we may, may need in that facility. So once we know that we got a facility that's going to take 9.21 hours to clean, uh, so with that, with knowing that, well now we know maybe we're going to put two people in there, you know, because uh, that's a long day for one cleaner. So that really helps us, you know, with, with, with knowing the time to clean, it helps us establish how many cleaners we may put in into the, uh, into the account. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, uh, and if you have, go ahead and click the like button. And uh, as always, if you haven't subscribed already to our channel, please subscribe and uh, watch for more videos. Uh, in fact, you know, maybe in the future here I'll do a video on uh, different cleaning systems so people understand that you got uh, zone cleaning, you got team cleaning, skip cleaning, collaborative cleaning, and, and a few more. Um, so until then, uh, thanks and I hope you enjoyed the video.